When did your daughter advise you that she was moving out? The 12th or 13th of August. I had contacted her. 12th or 13th of August, of not August. You. I contacted her the 1st or 2nd of August and asked if the rent would be in on Friday. She said that they had a family emergency and had to go to Lexington, Kentucky because her husband's grandmother had had a stroke. Okay. And I said, okay, fine, when you get home, let me know or contact me next week so the rent can be either mailed to me or transferred through Bank of America. Okay. Now, you don't live far away from where she... I live 10 house. minutes. Did you go over to the house and speak with Edith? No, ma'am. Did you call Edith? No. Why not? I don't have Edith's phone number. Well, then why didn't you go over there to see if... Because I didn't know that she wasn't coming back. I was told that she had a family emergency, so I believed it. When you it. found out that she was not coming back, did you go over to the house to speak with Edith? No, no ma'am. You never did? No. Is that what you're telling me? That you, from the time your daughter left until today, is what you're telling me, Miss Lampert, that you have not spoken with Edith? Oh, I have spoke to Edith, but oh, not okay. then. I'm I spoke with Edith. Sorry. So between the time your daughter left and today, you have spoken to Edith? That's correct. Yes. Prior to today, when was the last time you spoke to Edith? Maybe the 10th of September. I have no reason to speak to her. Shh. You know I'm not buying your story, right? I don't know so, what. Let's say September 10th. That's correct. You spoke to Edith. Now, what did you discuss with Edith on September 10th? When I found out that Amy was not coming back, I asked her to come and get her belongings out of the house, and the neighbor had let me know that there was a U-Haul there. And when I contacted Amy again to answer, when she answered her phone, she said that Kevin had came and got everything they wanted. And Kevin I said, is Kevin is, it's a long story, but it's somebody that she knows, okay? He lives in Charleston. He came Kevin, to get... So Kevin yes. came and got everything she wanted. That's that's what um, okay. she told me. That's, in what an your email. Daughter, just, that's what your daughter told me. Yep. And then... Yep. And then when I went to the house the following week... Okay. So a week went by. Yes, ma'am. And that was a week after September 10th? No, that would have been the 22nd of... August. On 8-22, yes. plaintiff went to the house, which was a week after your daughter had told you everything of hers was out of the house. So on 8-22, you went to the house and? And I couldn't get into my home because there were six dogs in my house. So I contacted Amy and asked her why all the dogs were in my house. And she said she left them there for Edith and Eric. And Edith and Eric were not there. No one was there. I contacted my husband. And the next day, we contacted Animal Control, and then Edith called my other daughter, Amber, and said not to send them to Animal Control, she would get them out of the house. So I didn't do that. I let Edith get them out of the house. The 24th of August, I rented a 30-yard dumpster. No, 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 no. I want to know when you spoke to Edith. I didn't speak to Edith. Well, you told me, you just told me you did a moment ago. The tent, she's living with my other daughter, so, just a second. <laughs> Hold on a second. So when Edith moved out of the rental house, and you don't know when that is, when she moved out of the rental house, your daughter, she moved to Kentucky, and the couple that she had been living with moved into your other daughter's house? Exactly. Well, that's interesting. And how far away does that daughter live? About 10 minutes. She's five minutes from me and 10 minutes from the other house. And I have Amber's phone number if you'd like to speak to her. No, I don't want to speak to Amber. I want to speak to Edith. No, I have never had Edith's contact information. Never. I've never had her phone number. I've never had anything from them people.